Welcome back, guys, to Kerbal Space Explosion. So today, on the docket, on the schedule, we are going to the moon. Now, previously, I said that I wanted to save the moon uh, for the future and to only go there with one ship, one mission, to try to get as much science as possible, to try to get to all the different biomes with one mission. But I kind of already did that type of thing or something similar with my mission to Minmus, hopping around the different biomes. And I didn't want to do something that would be kind of similar. So, um, we're going to go to the moon today, but we're not interested in going to all the biomes or getting all the science, particularly since most of the tech tree is done. Today, we want to go to the moon just for fun. And to be silly, we're going to try to get there using only boosters. <laughs> That's right. Uh, there are no normal engines on this entire thing, it is composed 100% of boosters. That means there's actually, now that I think about it, I never even tried asparagus staging and fuel lines with boosters. I don't know if that's even possible. If it is, that would be, that would allow some interesting possibilities. I'll have to experiment with that later. I'm not sure if that's possible. I didn't even try it. But today we are going to the moon only with boosters. Here we go. Mungus and Tombow, are you ready? Well, if you're not, it doesn't matter. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I specifically picked little Kerbal guys. Whoa! Something happened. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that's uh, that's not supposed to happen. That that's not that's not part of the design. Hey guys. Okay, stage. 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 Oh, do they have parachutes? Yeah, there's parachutes. Okay. Fire your parachutes. Stage. 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 Get them parachutes going. Hurry. You're only going 24 meters per second. There's still time. Stage. Stage. Keep going. Keep going. Stage. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dang it. All right, let's try that again. Tom Hatt, Seanville, are you ready? Doesn't matter if you're ready or not, here we go. Well, we just lost a few guys and I decided not to just quick save. I decided to have there be some consequences for this test mission. Okay, so you may notice that I have a lot, and I mean a lot of reaction wheels on this thing. I, I lost count of how many I actually put on there, probably over 20. Each of those provides 20 torque, 20 units of torque, whatever that means. And each of those consumes a, a lot of electrical charge. So I've got a lot of batteries here on the top of my craft. We've got 4,100 electrical charge, but no solar panels. So if we use it up, it's gone. Now, the only parts of the, of the, the mission that really require that are the first couple stages, where it's going to be really unstable are really hard to control, I should say, and so we need all those reaction wheels. And uh, once we get past the first couple stages, we're gonna lose a lot of the reaction wheels, but we won't need as many anyway. And so as long as we, uh, we don't drain all our electrical charge in these first few minutes, we should be okay. Uh, one thing I never considered trying is whether or not we could asparagus stage the boosters. I never even thought to try it. Uh, something tells me that it doesn't work, that the fuel lines only work for the normal fuel tanks, but uh, <laughs> who knows? I, I didn't even try it, so that's something to experiment with in the future. For this stage, I mostly just want to stay as straight as possible. Uh, there's not too much tricky about getting this thing into orbit. I've tested it to get into, into orbit, because otherwise, uh, what would be the point? And I know it does get into orbits. Um, I do not know if we'll be able to land on the moon. That's going to be sort of a hypothetical. We will find out. Here goes the first stage being finished. There we go. And the next one. You see the compression here, the springiness? That really worries me every time that happens. Okay, stay straight. Stay straight. Go straight up and down. Come back over here. You can see I've used up 600 electrical charge and 
uh, in my test trying to get this into orbit. That's pretty good. That's a pretty minimal amount of uh, of hand holding for the mission. So we're doing pretty good. Now it is there's a little bit of uh, technical tips and tricks to getting this guy into orbit. I need to sort of turn over at the right moment. Otherwise, I lose too much speed and the whole thing doesn't work. So we're going to stay straight up and down right until we get to about 230 meters per second. Then we're going to go to uh, 45 degrees. And we're going to keep it there until it seems like uh, we have enough upward trajectory and enough orbital momentum to uh, carry us up to 70,000 by the end of one of these stages. Because we're only using boosters, we cannot throttle down ever. Okay, here we go. We're getting close to this stage. We're at 10,000, and I am... Oh, this is going to give us a crappy... Oh, gosh. A crappy uh, ascending node. Because we are off target. Let's get back on... See if we can get back on target here. Next stage. There we go. I'm going to aim just south of east here. Oh, we need to... Oh, crap. We need to... Go, go, go. Turn over. Get over to 45. We're, we're behind schedule here, actually. Turn over. I may have to turn over a little more aggressively. Uh, once we get going a little bit, we have to get enough height to get out of the atmosphere just as one of these stages finishes. Not this stage, but the next one. And then we have to use the next stage and the next stage to get into orbit. So it's a little bit finicky. We're at 28,000. I'm just going to keep it right there. Keep it right there. I think we're okay there. We're probably all right. We are still north of that of that mark, though. We need to be right on this east to west line. Oh uh, no, you're tipping over too much. Tipping over too much. I have to wrestle with it. And we've used up uh, 1,300 electrical charge doing it. But from here on out, it gets significantly easier to control. There's that guy. See ya, sucker. Up to 42. Oh, gosh, we may not have enough height. Come back over here. Over yonder. Okay, but from here, it gets much easier to control. I don't have to wrestle with it. It'll stay where I put it for the most part. I think we need to get up to something like 1,500 meters per second. That's our target for our orbital velocity. And right above 70,000 meters per second... Or, not per second. Uh, wow, that would be fast. 70,000 meters above the surface. And if we don't do that right, there's going to be consequences. This whole thing won't work, basically. 66. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, now let's tip over all the way. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, we made it. We made it. I'm going to go ahead and stage these guys. And then I'm just going to waggle my tail a little bit to uh, try and move them away from my sh my vessel. My vessel. Uh, because one of the times I tried doing this next stage, these guys ended up running into my ship and blew up the whole thing. Or not the whole thing, it just knocked off one of my boosters, which um, made the whole thing a bust. Okay, now let's get back on this target. So we made it. We got to 1,500 meters per second. Uh, we got our apoapsis high enough. We're going to have to use two sets of uh, boosters anyway to get into orbit. I would really like to get into orbit with just this stage, but it doesn't really work. Let's speed up until we're about there. Right about there. Right about there. Okay. Good. And... Fire! Look at all those boosters just hanging in the air. See you later, suckers. All right, get right on that mark. Mark. There we go. Okay. So, going to hold this position. Uh, it's kind of funny how getting into orbit for me now is just kind of child's play. It's Oh, well, unless you're use, I'm using like a 800 to 1,000 part rocket and I have to wrestle with it the whole time. But, you know, the, the mechanics of it aren't that tough. Uh-oh. Aim up. I may have uh, started this burn too late. I may have started this burn too late. Oh, too much. <laughs> this thing is a little hard to control sometimes. 
Let's see what we can do. Here we go. And we're going to use one more stage. And our... Okay, good. I think... No, no, no. We're not doing good. Not doing good! Keep that apoapsis high. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good now. We're good now. We're good! I think. Yes, we're good. Whew. That was close. I sort of messed that up. I started my burn to get into orbit a little bit late, but it's fine. Turns out it's fine. 71,000. And this is going to keep going. But it's fine. Let's go ahead and release those and let them shoot forward. Uh, the reason that all of these boosters are sort of out, extended outwards from the main spine of the craft, is so that we can do that, so that we can get rid of them if we need to in a rush. Uh, if we need to cut our deceleration quickly, there's the moon, the mun. Our, oh, okay, 1.8 degrees, that's not great, but it's not the end of the world either. So let's get a maneuver out there. Whoa. So the important thing about this step is that uh, we don't want a periapsis. We want a maneuver where we crash into the surface, provided we don't do anything else. So that we can uh, use our boosters in the most efficient manner, because we only have like... Hmm, I don't think that's the best way to do it. There, you see that? How the periapsis disappears? So I'm going to put it sort of in a position. You see how we have periapsis, periapsis, no periapsis, and then I go all the way around here, and then it appears again. I'm going to put it in the middle of that section with no periapsis, because, uh, well, this is, um, it's not the most precise thing. Using boosters, and because you cannot stage from that map screen, we can't keep an eye on it too closely when we need to get rid of a booster. We have to stage it from this screen if we need to get rid of it suddenly. Okay, here we go. Let's see, we have 21 minutes. I'll go all the way down to about 45 seconds or so. Should be about appropriate. We're going to need two or three stages, something like that, to make this transition. And the, uh, the, mo the most finicky part, the part which I'm not sure how it's going to go, and I don't have much faith in my ability to actually land, uh, is going to be decelerating with the proper timing to actually land on the moon and not die. Okay, I'm going to go down just to a minute. And we'll start a minute before the node. Three, two, one, fire! So, for this part, we can watch it from here, but uh, once we get close to this part, when this little yellow bar disappears to nothing, we can't really watch that part. Actually, what I think I'm going to do, so we can get uh, as accurate a estimate for this maneuver as possible, we're going to go through the first few stages of this, and then I'm going to kill, or, you know, I'll delete the maneuver node, and make an updated one. See you later, suckers! I'm going to make an updated one so that we can have the most accurate estimate of what we're doing. There it is right there. You know, I started playing just before career mode was announced. Um, so people who used to play way back in the day, before there were even maneuver nodes, used to have to use things like this. When they see the moon rising, they would burn uh, to encounter it. That's what we're doing now. So you can see we're not quite gonna get there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a new maneuver. And we're just gonna, basically, I just want a, a, as accurate an estimate as possible. All right, so that's what we want, right there. And that's in 28 seconds. Let's go ahead and start burning. And you see what's going to happen here. I can't look at that screen. I have to do that. That's that's what you gots to do. That's the only way to quote-unquote throttle down. Let's see what we did. 
Aha, we did it. Yeah, all right. Good. So, um, what basically, the reason I did that is I did not want to waste an entire set of boosters uh, just getting into orbit around the moon. I wanted to cut one of the stages out of the... Uh, I wanted to cut one of the stages out of the sequence. So we're going to crash in the moon, and we will try to decelerate appropriately with our two sets of boosters that we have left right there. Now these inner two, we can't uh, stage them in the same way we do the outer ones, obviously, because they're underneath our command module. Whoa, okay. Let's um, slow down here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to crash into it just into the dark side of the... Oh, no, that's not very good. <laughs> Dang it. That's not what I wanted, but uh, there's really nothing I can do about it now. Hopefully there will be enough light so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, uh, yeah, we can't stage these bottom ones in the same way, so we can't really use them to slow down. Their, their purpose is purely to get us off the moon and back to Kerbin. Well, um, let's see. Let's go back down to normal time. I'm going to spin around. Like so. To the retrograde marker. And then we're going to get a little f closer. So, I only have two sets of these guys. And that means that we're going to have to wait till we get kind of close. Whoa! Frick! 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 Jeez! Scared the hell out of me. We're going 800 meters per second. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start burning because I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take. And I'm going to put the legs down now. Hopefully it's enough. Uh, hopefully I didn't just fast forward us to our doom or to your doom. Tom Hatton, Sianfall. Hopefully this is not uh, your doom coming. It kind of looks that way, though. Uh-oh. Did we start too, too late? Crap. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. Sorry! <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we already, last, we, we already lost two guys, uh, so I did do a quick save. This is the trickiest part here, so I, I want a, <laughs> a second attempt. Um, note to self, don't fast forward so much, you crazy bum. Dummy. All right, so that's... Uh, that's I'm going to call that the mulligan, and uh, we'll just have the one mulligan... So obviously we need to start decelerating before we get down uh, to 15,000 15, uh, 15, meters above the surface. It was too much. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's stop that silly speed up stuff. Um, so maybe 20, I think 20,000 will be enough. So we'll try to start decelerating at that point. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gosh, we're falling so quickly. Careful. Careful. Now, if I if I tried to do that here at this point, it would just waste the booster. We'd stop. We'd uh, decelerate to a standstill, and we'd still be so far above that we'd start accelerating downward again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, scary. Scary. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go. All right. And I'm going to... Whoa! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gosh. I want to go this way. Oh, boy. Please be enough this time. Hopefully that was enough. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear down so that uh, I don't have to worry about thinking about that at the last second here. Okay, now we only have one set left. Oh gosh, and if we fire this too early, I think we need to do it now. I think that may even be too late. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Whoops. All right, one more try, and then that's it. Okay, last attempt. And then uh, Tom Hat and Sianfu, you have no more quick loads. Your mulligans have been used. You're going straight to the grave if this doesn't work. 
And we will uh, we'll try this mission again, maybe another time in the future. Maybe I'll try a slight redesign uh, to see if we can get this to work. Okay, here we go. This is the part that we knew was going to work okay. I think the problem is that I waited to fire that second set of boosters too long. Landing legs down. See, the thing is, uh, if you don't pick exactly the right time to do this, you're, you're not going to set down. You're just going to take back off, which I guess is okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire these. Oh, I think that may be too late as well. We'll see. Will this be good enough? Kill that velocity. Hurry. Oh, gosh. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Hope. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we kind of did it. We kind of did it. Boink. Oh, and our command pod got knocked off. Dang it. That's okay. That's good. Well, oh, look at that. Reflective gold foil. Uh huh. All right. Great. Perfect. Let's see if we can even get these guys out of here. <laughs> it's just gonna slide along on its side. The cockpit's right there. As long as that, uh, as long as it doesn't roll over onto its side, we should be okay. I wonder if they could like duct tape one of the boosters onto the bottom, and then we could be good to go. Or maybe just like like duct tape themselves to one of the boosters. That might work. All right. Well, uh, Tom Hat, get on out and let go. Well, we made it. We did not... Uh, well, we la we landed. And that was a tricksy landing. But unfortunately, uh, that's as far as this mission is going to go. I'm going to put him up here in the sunlight. We're going to plant a flag, take a soil sample. I didn't really come here for the science, but uh, you may as well. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Oh, you're going to... No! No! Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, look at that. That is a very dramatic vista right there. All right. Uh, go ahead and take a server sample. That's worth 120. All right, you're going to keep it, even though you're kind of stuck here. We could rescue him, actually. That would be fairly simple. Maybe in the future we'll do that. Uh, and then you want an EVA report up here as well. Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to get that with a different guy. All right, plant the flag. And we will call this uh, Mooner Booster something or other. We'll have to specify that it was only a partial victory. Mooner Booster. Um, landing. We'll call that landing, I guess, because we did land. All right, sweet. <laughs> I guess he's kind of stuck here, him and the other guy. But at least they're not dead. I was, I was not going to quick load after this, so that was their last chance, and we kind of pulled it off. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, slightly off-kilter episode. Next time, we'll do something equally off-kilter. Ah, the sunrise. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.